Hello, this is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you a general reading for the week of Monday, March 20th through Sunday, March 26th. Hopefully you are all doing well. You made it through our full moon energy that we had, and you are ready for our, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to be experiencing the spring equinox on tomorrow, actually, Monday, the 20th of March. So for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we are finally going to kick off spring. So... Hopefully you are all as ready as I am. It's been pretty dreary here in Ohio. Actually, yesterday was looking online, thinking, okay, if I travel south and start visiting friends and such, how far do I have to go until I find some sunshine? I would have to go all the way to West Palm Beach to my friends down there, because there's not even sunshine in Destin, Florida for a number of days. So bring on spring. So this week we are going to be pulling cards from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Power Tarot deck as well as her magical messages from the fairies. And then we're also pulling from the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them. I ask that all of you receives at least one message. Um, again, it is for a large number of people. So some of the message may be applicable. You might find there's only one little part in it for you, but I do hope that you find something in here that does assist you with your journey um, and helps you moving along in that. Because I know a lot of us are going through a lot of stuff right now. It's, it's been pretty energetic, a lot of changes, a lot of shifting. Um, it has been challenging for a number of us, but um, hang in there because we are, we are getting there. Okay, good, you guys can see those. Okay, let's, let's see what we have here. We have three situations, situation one, two, and three. Okay. The first situation that we have here starts off with the Queen of Gabriel, and then we have peace and then winter. Now, the Queen of Gabriel, on the bottom of this, it says you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people now hopefully you guys aren't hearing my grumbling stomach i have not eaten yet but after i'm done with this i will doesn't help you guys though let's see here okay well this really actually it is a very magical card this is a card that speaks of being able to do anything that you want you know everything that you desire is possible it's within grasp um it's, it's kind of congratulating you on all the work that you've done um but also a reminder to believe in yourself um because for a lot of you this has been a, a long time in the making you see how she's kind of like tired her eyes are kind of closed it's kind of like worn out, <laughs> but uh, so a lot of you have had to go through um, a number of changes, changes with work, changes with love, um, changes with family and friends. Um, and this is the queen. So you've arrived, you've gotten there, um, but you've had to give up a lot. A lot has changed, a lot has shifted. And if you look, I mean, her eyes are closed. She is just worn out. Um, and if you also look, there's like sunflowers throughout the card and you know some flowers they're they're beautiful flowers they um some people say of all the flowers they're they're the happiest because they represent um god loyalty longevity um spiritual faith unwavering faith um you know in greek mythology it's it's um a sunflower actually symbolizes and actually there's a bunch of sunflowers on here as well they're in the pots on both sides but in greek mythology um the sunflower is said to be um, Clyde was a water nymph um, and she turned herself into a sunflower at grieving the loss of her love um, Apollo and the reason that and it said that the reason sunflowers grow toward the Sun and in that direction is because she is awaiting Apollo's chariot she's awaiting him returning to her but sunflowers also represent you know healing focus um, spiritual knowing you know really tapping into our intuition and listening to that intuition that inner knowing um and for native americans it's it's a symbol of you know bounty harvest reaping those things that we so reaping those things that that we've worked so hard to get so many of you you know you've gone out there you know she's gone out she's very passionate charming um has balance independent friendly confident um really working hard to get what she desires so a lot of you have done that you've really really put in the work it's been a lot of hard work they're congratulating you on that um 
but now is a time to to relax and wait for your harvest to come in they're saying um because the next card that we have is peace and it's number 23 and let me pull this up here <laughs> because some of you have had to go through battle if you look here it's kind of like this this dove is extending an olive branch above an egg um but this card it, it represents freedom from attachment radical acceptance um it also is a card that speaks about things not getting any better than this like this is as good as it gets um being at a place of peace, of joy, of giving birth to new beginnings. Um, also just acceptance, acceptance of, of, of life and where things are. Um, because for some of you, it has been a battle to have to let things go. 23 boils down to five. Five is the number of change. And you have gone through tremendous change to get to this point. Um, but a lot of you have had to go through this to come into, um, so for some of you, it's love. In order to come into true alignment with a person that you're meant to be with, someone that you have that innate spiritual harmony with, you've had to let people go. You've also had to do some healing. They're saying for some of you, you've had to do some heart healing. Um, for some of you, it's career guided. Um, but you now have a clear vision of what it is that you desire. You have had to let things go. You have had to make changes. You've had to learn new things, discover new things. You've had to extend. They're saying for some of you, you've had to branch out on your own. Um, but you're doing that and they're congratulating you on that so now is the time that things start to get better they start to improve you now get to sit on your throne and enjoy those things reap those rewards those benefits of what you've worked so hard for but it is a time of calmness it's a time of peace it's a time of just really truly being because you know olive branches represent peace being at peace with life at peace with how things are at peace with how things have turned out um because this is a time for you to be at peace, to reap the things that you've done. Um, they're saying to be a human being, just be. Um, because you don't, have to, you don't have to do any work at this point. But some of you are kind of frustrated, okay. Because they're saying some of you are frustrated because you've worked so hard and you're like, you know, at that point, just like, you know, waiting for, you know, something to drop, something to happen. Um, the next card we have is winter at the bottom. It says the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Um, but that's not what they're saying. Okay. You know, winter is a time of, of completion um, because in the spring things begin rebirth, regrowth, new beginnings. Um, but winter is the time that we actually, we prepare, we make plans for the future. Um, we start to follow those intuitive guidance, the nudges. We, um, we start to think about where do we want to go from here, um, in order to have those things come to fruition. Time for regrouping. Okay, that's what they're saying. Okay, so for those of you in situation one <laughs> that are frustrated because you're waiting on things to just happen, for something to happen, um, because you've made all these changes and you're finally sitting there, um, but there's an element that's still missing. Like, the, you're content, you're proud of where you are, but there's just still something missing. It's still that, that lover. It's still okay that... The, the thing with work and job and starting your business just hasn't quite clicked yet. Or there's still some element, um, for some of you that are saying starting a family, there's still an element that's just not there yet. You have everything else. You're a queen. <laughs> You're a confident, powerful queen. But there's just an element that's still missing. And for some of you, it's kind of making your heart cold. The winter card is not saying that you're going to have to wait until winter. The winter is saying that you have, so for those of you that are in the, northern hemisphere this this winter you've had to do a lot of work so for a lot of you you've had to do tremendous spiritual work healing releasing letting go um for some of you it's been a very overwhelming time emotionally and physically to prepare yourself for things that are about to be um that are going to be given birth to these new beginnings they are there you are on the cusp of it they're saying don't give up this is simply a time, um, because some of you are kind of getting frustrated with their saying the, 
the energies, your, your hearts are kind of, so for some of you, it's love connected and your hearts are kind of getting cold. You're thinking, okay, I've given up all of this and I still don't have this love that I desire. I've made all these changes. Uh, I followed your lead God. I followed the signs. I followed the synchronicities. I've done the things that I should do, but why am I still waiting? Why? Um, They're saying, hey, in there, um, this is a time for you to come into a place of peace and balance, a time to relax. Um, and you can do some fine tuning because for a majority of you, they're saying that you've done a lot of work, a lot of healing work and a lot of, you've just been really through a lot, a lot of changes and, and not just one situation, but in, in multiple situations, multiple areas of life. Now is a time for you just to, to be. because you're going to notice this spring that things are going to start to happen. But allow yourself to be at a place of peace and harmony right now, they're saying. And they're saying for some of you, it's kind of like you've been so so busy, so on the go, things have been so rapid, um, kind of like rapid fire, that now you've just come to this, everything's come to like a screeching halt, and you really don't know what to make of it. You're like, okay, what the heck's going on? <laughs> There's this, it's been, I've been drinking out of a fire hose for days, months, or some of you, a few years. Um, and then while all of a sudden, everything stopped, everything's cold, everything's kind of like, you feel almost like suspended. Um, that's because there's divine timing at play. But enjoy this time. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Um, if there's some fine tuning that you have to do, do that. Um, but just come to a place of balance and peace and trust and knowing that this is going to happen. Um, and things are going to be shifting and they will be shifting this spring for you. Um, because they're saying, because you did, they're saying for a lot of you, you did a lot of work this winter is when you put the work in. Okay. Now the next card is the sun and this is a major arcana. It's number 19 at the bottom. It says life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. And it's a beautiful card. You see, he's, he's coming in on this, this horse, this unicorn. He's got the light shining and radiating behind him. He has sunflowers on both sides, clear blue sky above him. Um, this, is a, this is another positive card. I mean, these are both very positive. It's a card that speaks about life being wonderful. Um, very good things headed your way. Your, your wildest dreams are succeeding. They're successful. They are going to be succeeding. Um, it speaks of a time that life is magical. Like you have this magical unicorn right there. Um, but also a lot of epiphanies, ideas, things that are leading you forward taking you to your happiness, to your joy, to your bliss. Um, for some of you, to a trustworthy relationship, to a new career, to um, personal satisfaction in all areas of life. Um, and for some, love. Now, Archangel Ariel, that's the angel that's listed on here. Archangel Ariel, um, Uriel. There's Uriel and there's an Ariel. Archangel Uriel um, is known for bringing in um, he helps us with epiphanies, aha moments, understanding. He also can assist with um, emotional healing. So anytime you need to, oh, okay. Anytime you need to lift your spirits, call on Archangel Uriel to help raise your um, vibration, lift your spirits, get you out of um, a state of doom and gloom and things aren't going so well. You guys are like people in situation too. Which is so interesting because these cards are so beautiful. But you're not seeing that. Okay. Well, let's find, let's find out why. Um, okay. Because the next card that we have is the tribe. And that's number eight. And you have these two giraffes kissing. No, they're not in labor. <laughs> but um, the meaning of this card, this talks about, you know, community, belonging, you know, our tribe, um, people that understand us, people that are like-minded, um, a sense of family, friendship, connection, you know, being in our place in the world, who we belong with, who we surround ourselves with. Um, 
Because as humans, you know, our tribe's very important. Our tribe makes us feel loved, appreciated, understood. We feel as though we matter. We feel as though we, we are contributing. We feel supported. You know, it's, and for some, you know, tribe is love. You know, finding someone that you share the same qualities, um, the same foundational beliefs and characteristics. Um, and sometimes if we're with someone and we, and we don't share those same values and beliefs, we, we just sense that, okay, this, this, this person's not our tribe. This isn't where we're meant to be. Um, okay. So some of, some of you are leaving a tribe that you don't belong to, they're saying, or don't belong in. Um, because the card also, like when it talks about protection, it talks about... Um, not compromising our integrity in order to belong to a tribe, to a tribe, to a group. Um, so maybe sometimes we we will do everything and anything for someone else. Um, we will bend over backwards. We will give into things and and desires and things that aren't rational, that um, are one sided, that aren't for our best interest. Um, but constantly giving into everyone else and their desires and their wishes and their wants. Um, they're saying like repeatedly. Let's see here. And like, okay. So you're to other people's desires, requests, wants, um, things that are unreasonable. But when we do that, and, we, and, and also things that don't have the same integrity, the same values that we hold, the things that we place value on. So maybe, you know, honesty is very important to us. Truth, loyalty, fairness, balance, compassion. So if those things are very important to us and we're, say, in a relationship with someone, it doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. It, it, for some of you, it is. For some of you, it's also um, business, family, business, friends, um, But it's a group that they're saying felt at one point did feel as though that was your tribe. But things shifted. They changed. Um, and it started to dim your light, dim your happiness, dim your joy. To the point where it wasn't in alignment with who you are, your values, your beliefs, the things you desire, the things that you want. Um, and you're contemplating leaving that tribe. They're saying because if you look at this this card 19 you know he's on the horse he's on his own so he's he's had enough maybe he's you know for some of you you've been in a relationship with someone you realize okay she's this isn't working this hasn't been working for a very long time but now i'm connected with her family and friends and okay i've got this tribe that i really used to enjoy really used to like to be around you know wanted to be more than just family gatherings but you know now maybe for some it's become a business um for some of you, they're saying it's also an image. So for some of you, say you 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 have this this lover, this partner that you're with, and maybe she has um, there's something of affluence that her family brings you, something of value, um, but it's just for show. So maybe <laughs> maybe she has a family a family member that's like a movie star, but you ju you just you know you value you place some value on that because that gives you some significance and and. Um, You've realized that, that that's not what you desire any longer. It's not making your heart happy. It's not making your heart sing. It's not bringing you sunshine, sunflowers. It's um, not magical. And, and you're thinking about leaving the tribe because it's, it's, it's not resonating with your heart and soul. It's, it's, you're feeling as though it's not your tribe any longer. Um, and the next card that we have is do some research. And at the bottom this says, you need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. You see here, she's on these stack of books and you know, she's got this candle and a heart on her one book. Um, and, and typically this is a card that does talk about, you know, really fully understanding everything before we make a decision. Um, it's taking that time to do some research, but also not just, you know, physical research, not just reading books, but you know, also to follow signs, synchronicities, um, intuitive feelings, signs. Um, 
maybe someone says something that just clicks with you. You're like, oh my gosh, that's totally the truth. Because that's how the angels will often speak to us. They'll often give us signs through other people. Like we may overhear a conversation and be like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I'm going through right now. It's like they're reading my mind and my life. It, they're not, but the angels are using them in their conversation to give you signs to help you free yourself. Um, okay, they're saying some of you, you don't need to do research because you've done adequate research. They're saying for some of you, you actually need to stop overthinking and overanalyzing and, and do something. Um, Okay, so for some of you, they're saying your original plan was to stick through with this tribe through thick and thin. You were going to stick with this person, stick with this group of people, this business partner, and, and come hell or high water, you were sticking with this because this was your tribe. But things have happened. Things have occurred. Um, and these things are altering your original plan. And you're really worried about it. For some of you, you're really starting to have like panic and anxiety. Um, almost like... Um, depression because of, of not knowing what to do, not knowing how to extract yourself, not knowing how to remove yourself, not knowing how things are going to turn out when you're, when you're gone, when you've removed yourself from that. Um, but they're saying, don't worry, trust. You are being divinely guided. Trust in the synchronicities, trust in the signs, because those of you in this situation, you are getting a lot of signs and synchronicities to get you out of this tribe, get you out of this group that you no longer belong in. Your heart doesn't sing. It doesn't bring you joy. They're saying for a lot of you, it's just bringing you a lot of loneliness and sadness. But the interesting thing they're saying is that if, if you can trust, you see how he's, he's on his own. He's forging forward. No one's with him. So if you can forge forward on your own and leave that tribe, you will find that life is beautiful. Life is magical. You have these sunflowers on both sides. It's not with that tribe, which is why a lot of you have been guided to leave. 19, if you boil that down, it's 10. 10 means endings, completion. This has been completed. A lot of you have learned a lot. You've grown. You've developed. You've become a better you. Now it's time for you to step forward to make something magical elsewhere. And they're saying a lot of you know that. They, they're pointing out, like, I don't know if you guys can even see that. This pot has, like, a bullseye on it. They're saying, so for some of you, you nailed it. Some of you, you know that it's time for you to leave and go. Um, they're saying, so for some of you, you're actually listening to this reading, and you're like, oh, my gosh, that's totally me. And they're like, nailed it. Yes, that's you. <laughs> it's time for you to leave that tribe. But you have to do something. You, it, it's time to stop thinking. And... Um, they're saying overthinking, overanalyzing. Because it's time. Because what they're saying is, is, is moving forward, taking some movement forward is the key to having things become magical. Getting those things that you desire. So maybe it's a person you're having to leave. So, you know, there's this guy on a horse. Maybe you had to leave a woman. Leave a lover, a partner. Maybe, uh, they're saying for some of you, you had to leave a while ago. Um, but still emotionally you had to leave because you were still emotionally connected. By finally leaving 100%, you'll be moving forward to something better with someone else. Um, and for all of you in the situation, be it, be it friends, business partner, lover, they have something in store for you that's beautiful and magical. But you can't get that until you move forward. It's just, it's just, it's very interesting because we have these two cards. It's just beautiful. They're magical. You know, things coming to fruition, dreams coming true. Um, but we're, we're getting in our way. You know, like she's frustrated because, you know, she's done all this. Okay, now what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What do I need to do? Just calm down. Relax. Let things happen. And for him, okay, I know I'm unhappy. I know I'm miserable. I know I'm having depression and panic and anxiety attacks. I know this isn't for me. I know this isn't right for me. Well, then leave it. Leave it behind. Because the time has come. Okay, now let's talk situation three is beautiful because it starts off with a beautiful card of two lovers. We have two of Raphael. And at the bottom it says, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those that you love. Then we have Observer and then we have Autumn. 
And this is a card that speaks of a, of a deep connection, blooming romance, um, deepening bonds over time. But it also speaks of forgiveness and healing hearts. You see here, you have the, the health insignia. Archangel Raphael does healing of hearts. So when we've when we have hurt it okay. So when we've hurt one another, be it with our words, our actions, um, in order to move forward there has to be forgiveness, healing of the heart, in order to reconcile those relationships. So some of you are on the brink of a of a relationship reconciling. It's also a card that talks about a commitment, um, a magnetic attraction. You know, so for some of you, it's somebody that you keep coming back to. It's kind of like two magnets um, keep pulling each other to one another. Um, but there have been, there have been some things that have hurt both parties. Um, They're saying um, communication, secrets, things not said. Um, but there's some heart healing. It is a deep love. It's a divine love. You have the two lovers here. It is divinely guided. But there just needs to, there's a little bit of work. We have this next card. Um, Observer, card number 49. I don't know if you can see that. You have this fox. He's staring up at the stars and moon. Um, it's funny that he's sitting on an egg. <laughs> we have two eggs. Um, give, uh, giving birth to new beginnings. Hmm. But this is a card that speaks about perspective, um, objectivity, just observing things from a distance, taking it all in. Um, because what often happens, tends to happen, is we look at things through our own lens, um, how we perceive things. And, and we allow our emotions and our feelings and our experiences and the things that we've gone through in life to skew the lens of which we look through things. Um, but perception is reality. So if, if we are looking at things just simply from our, our angle, our view, um, it can perceive things. We can perceive things that are not real. Um, so, you know, like with lovers, with, um, if you have a great, a disagreement, if you have an argument, um, you know, feelings can get jumbled up. You can hear things, you can hear one thing when they're actually saying something different. Um, also sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll have an unresolved past experience that keeps coming up and causes us to keep blocking the person out. Um. And sometimes their, their, their words, the things that they said or the things that they didn't say, affect us and keep us from moving forward to a place of love, a place of connection, a place of union. Um, So the autumn card, we're going to come back. We're, we're going to tie all three of these together because they're, 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 they're speaking rapidly. <laughs> but it's jumbling together because they're pulling all three of these together. Um, and to try and keep this journal, I try to give you guys a couple different means on the cards before I wrap it all up. So let's give you a couple things on this autumn card. And then uh, we'll do the connections of all three of them real quick of what they're saying, the bottom messages of all three of these. Um, this card is autumn. At the bottom it says, in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. And, and it's interesting because we have two cards of time that aren't even talking about those times, you know. Um, this was talking about putting the work in over the winter time. And this is a card. Um, typically this card can't truly straight up mean that, you know, what you're asking for is going to come to fruition in the fall. Um, it is also a card that can, talks about continuing to um, manifest with positive thinking, um, affirmations, taking positive um, action steps. Um, 
in order to reap the things that you desire. Um, also a card that, you know, autumn is that when things come to completion. You know, you plant your seeds in the spring, they grow all summer long, and then when you go out and you collect the harvest, that's the completion of that cycle. Okay. People in situation three, you have a love interest, a love partner. Um, you're not together though right now. Um, you're separated. Some of you are separated by distance. And if you look in here, you see this where she's like, she's taking, she's taking a bow. Like, oh my gosh, look, look at everything that I've done. Very proud. But then over here, she's just kind of discouraged and sad and looking in the opposite direction. And then you see here, he's sitting there and he's sitting in this like Barry's arms. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay, so for some of you, and, and, and when I give, um, like I was here talking about a man and a woman, it can be male or female. I just will often play off what the card is or what I'm, you know, feeling, but usually I'll go with whatever the card is, um, which typically aligns with <laughs> what they're, what they're saying in my ear at the same time. Um, it's always interesting how that plays out. Okay. But what they're saying is you have this love interest and, and you've worked really hard. You know, she's put in a lot of work. She's done a lot of things, changed a lot of things, had a lot of, um, cycles, phases in life, a lot of things shift and change. Um, and she's ready for this love of a lifetime, you know, He's her harvest. She knows he's the one. She's ready for things to move forward, but things aren't moving forward. So now she's sad. She's disappointed. She's like, you know, she's sitting there. She's got her hand on her. Just discouraged. Disheartened. Um, but she's ready to give up. She's ready to give up. She's ready to throw in the towel because she's like, this just isn't working. This isn't working. I feel this connection, but it's not working. It's not coming together. Um, she thinks that it's over and it's done. Um, there have been past hurts, things said. They're saying for a lot of you things that weren't said. They're, they, um, they're getting, they keep showing me the blue, the blue, and, and Archangel Michael's talking to their communication issues, communication problems. Um, mm, so things not said. It is a divine relationship. It is watched over by the heavens. But the reason it's not moving forward is there's some healing that's going on with him right now. Because you know how, you know, she's taking this bow. She's so proud. She's, she's completed things and it's cycle. She's ready. But he's getting ready right now. He's getting ready. But she's just like, okay, I give up. This is just taking too long. Don't give up, they're saying. Don't give up. It's always at the very end when we're about to throw in the towel on something that something magical happens, that something beautiful happens. And I think this is the same message they were giving last week. And this is for a lot of you, a twin flame thing. So there's a lot of divine feminine that are still out there, still thinking about giving up because it's been a long journey. It's been tiresome. Um, you don't think that it's ever going to happen and you're just giving up. Don't give up. God and the angels are working on him. Because uh, just as you had to release things, let go of things, free yourself of things and things of the past, make changes in career and job and family and friends. Well, you can't change your family, <laughs> but a lot of you have healed relationships in your family. You've healed the dynamics. A lot of you have a, a lovely relationship now with your mother and your father, things that weren't um, so joyful in the past. You've become a better you, you've become a queen but it took you time to get there. It's taking him some time to get there. He's almost there. He's glowing. He's glowing. And most of you are gonna have some activity this spring because you've got an egg, an egg. You're about to give birth to new beginnings. And for many of you, that is going to occur this spring. It's just at the point where things are gonna happen that we want to give up. Don't give up because your new beginning is about to happen. You're there. You just have to have patience and hang in there. 
And, and they're saying for some of you to also um, raise your vibration. Because for those of you that this is a twin flame thing, um, if you're going through a state of sadness and depression, he's going through a state of sadness and depression, you're going through it for different reasons. But energetically, that's not helping either of you because the connection is so strong. Um, so you're going to feel each other's feelings. You're going to feel each other's emotions. So if you're both down in the dumps, that's going to also affect your health for both of you. So if you are a divine feminine in a twin flame union connection, get yourself, do something to raise your vibration. Do something fun because that's going to help get you to a better place energetically. That's also going to help him get to a place energetically. So as he's at these final stages of having to let things go, he can do that and not feel like he's total, I'm totally in the dumps. Because a lot of Divine Masculine right now are going through their dark nights of the soul. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going into that. Um, but ladies out there that have gone through that, it's, it's that time where you just feel like, oh my gosh, you're just at rock bottom. You just feel like, oh, I'm in the pits. What's the meaning of life? Why am I so miserable? Why are things not going my way? Why is everything such a struggle? Why is everything that I love and desire being taken from me and changed and shifted? But it was when you were at rock bottom that you looked up and you asked for help. You asked God, you asked the angels, help me. And then you got the clarity and you were able to make these changes that have blessed your life. Because for those of you that have gone through these changes, I have gone through these changes. Many of us have gone through these, these changes. They, terrified us when we got ready to go through the changes like what in the hell is this I don't want this I didn't ask for this I don't desire this how am I getting handed this deck of cards because I didn't want this but when we overcame that fear and we let those things go and we made those changes life actually got better that's when things got this we had these sunflowers and happiness and joy and like oh my gosh life is amazing life is magical but we had to let things go but we were at a really rock bottom place then we started to rise we started to step into our power we started to get into our bliss into our happiness so now you're there but you're missing this element and a lot of you are just like well forget that element because this just obviously this isn't gonna work hang in there raise your vibration because think of how much it would have helped you when you were going through that because for those of you that are twin flames your connection is so strong you're feeling each other's emotions you're feeling each other physically if one of you in injures yourself or they injure themselves you're going to feel it with each other when one is sick the other one's going to feel it that is just some of the unique we're going to call it unique blessings that come with being twin flames you truly are one you do feel everything for each other. So if you're feeling down and sad, thinking, oh my gosh, he's just never going to come this direction. No, he's just getting his final tweaks. That's all. So if he's feeling his own dark night, shifting, changing, evolving, releasing, letting go a whole bunch of stuff which you've had to go through, it's not fun. It's pretty miserable at points. For many of you, he's at that point of misery, but he's coming out of it. He's rising out of it. The light is starting to shine. He's almost there. Try to help both of you by raising your energy. And you can do that. I mean, it sounds like spiritual stuff. It's simple. Sing. Sing in the shower. You know, if you live here in Ohio where it's rainy and cruddy, go out and skip in a puddle or something. But just do something goofy. Do something silly. Do something that makes you laugh. Because it doesn't take much. You find if you listen to a couple upbeat songs, maybe dance, you're going to feel better that's going to help both of you that's also going to help you continue to hang in there because that's what you're those of you in this situation that's where you're at at this point they've brought this up two weeks in a row for a reason hang in there do something to bring you some happiness some joy some bliss because it's going to help both of you it really will and we've got an egg and we've got an egg things are going to start to shift this spring and guess what spring starts tomorrow folks it starts tomorrow. So things are going to start getting better. This is beautiful. These are beautiful cards. You're almost there. Hang in there. And if you've got a little bit of work to do, do the work. If you're supposed to just chill and be happy, chill and be happy. But I hope that you are all able to do that this week because we have some beautiful new beginnings that are kicking off this spring. Um, and I hope that you're all ready for it. 
that you've done your work and you're ready for it. So hopefully there's been a little bit of something in here to help all of you. I do wish you an amazing week filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings. And I am so thankful we made it through this without having the dogs bark. Have an amazing week.